Good evening. Her decision to travel to Syria and join IS had already reportedly cost her two babies. Now it's been confirmed that Shamima Begum's baby son, Jara, born just 20 days ago, has also died. Medical sources inside the camp where she's living have told the BBC she and the baby were taken to hospital yesterday morning because he'd had breathing difficulties. He subsequently died and was buried yesterday. Today, the Home Secretary, Sajid Javid, the man who stripped her of her citizenship, said though he had nothing but sympathy for children dragged into the conflict, the death was a reminder of why it's so dangerous for anyone to be in the war zone. What, if anything, will be the effect of this tragedy? ...down on the 230 from last time, but it won't be enough to get it through. So then we get to the vote on... Uh, ...all relatively simple up to that point. And then you introduce the European Union, maybe within two days of us leaving on the 29th. There are two options here. She either goes for a short extension of two or three months, but that is predicated on her vote going through. It hasn't gone through. Why would they agree to that? And France has already indicated it would veto it. Lithuania has said the same thing. France has said, well, we would consider it. So going through the motions. Well, <laughs> going through the motions, in, it, even if they do, to get to the point where or an election, or even a second referendum. It's dramatic. It's dramatic. It is people, dramatic. People should not feel bored by this because no. we are about to enter the most exciting four weeks of politics <laughs> that we, well, we've all probably experienced in our adult lives. Well, that is something to look forward to so very much, it? in a way, <laughs> Ian Dale. More thank you so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. Thank you so much, everybody. And no doubt the whiteboard will be back at some point very soon. Um, on International Women's okay. Day, who better to hear from than Dame Diana Rigg, one of our most distinguished and forthright actors? Now 80, Dame Diana has enjoyed a long and garlanded career on the boards. But to many, she will always be Emma Peel of the Avengers. She's gained